Hello, everybody. It's time for uh, 2 1 release, so we got some new videos coming out. So, I want to shoot a quick video today to show you a new 2 1 feature that's called application redundancy. So, this is to me, this is a feature we're getting asked a lot more lately, which is a sign that both the product and the market uh, is kind of maturing. You know, it's in a production environment. You know, how do I stand up two high byte instances, one as a backup, one as a primary, uh, to make sure that if anything happens to the primary, the backup can come online and ensure the reliable. Uh, delivery of data. So uh, for this demo, what I'm going to do is I have two, let me go find it, uh, two high byte instances. So I have a demo folder off my desktop and I've taken our standard install and just it dropped them in uh, one in a primary directory and one I'm calling the secondary. And then in here, if I actually just run uh, the primary, what you'll see is this will spin up. And I've got a little bit of configuration in here, but just a simple project that's going to take some OPC data. Uh, so I've got an OPC connection with some tags, just system tags, and then out I have an MQTT output. I've got a really simple model here that's a boiler model, temperature, pressure level, and then I just have a flow that's going to take every second uh, my model and send it out via MQTT. And this is on right now. So if I pull up my MQTT broker, uh, clear the messages, you'll see that's that's sending fine. So I've got my primary up and going. Uh, everything's great. So now I want a secondary, right? I want, I want that backup uh, feature. So what we're going to do is the first thing, I've already done this, but I'm going to take this config file from the primary, right? That has all my project configuration. And we're just going to copy that over um, to the secondary, so secondary runtime that'll have that, that'll match the configuration. So in this current feature, we don't do anything to synchronize configurations. We assume you have a way to do that uh, yourself. But so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this settings JSON of the secondary and open that up. And in here, you'll see uh, some new settings under redundancy, backup, uh, disabled by default, right? So the first thing we're going to do is turn this on. And then the next set of settings, what we do is we point to the primary server. So in this case, it's on my same machine. I've changed this one to be on port uh, 4526. That's what the secondary is hosted on. But it's going to point to the primary, which is port 45245 uh, with HTTP and the address. And then these settings say every 10 seconds, I'm going to try to ping the primary. If I fail once, I'm, gonna, I'm going to go into um, active mode or basically start to publish. So... We'll turn this on oops, and save that. And then what I'm going to do is actually launch the secondary. And while that's firing up, I am going to, um, that was port 45246 is the secondary. So I'm going to load that up and it's going to look the same. Uh, the only difference is if we go to the log file for this, You'll see some different messages, right? It says running in redundant standby mode, no flows are running, and enabling flows will only take effect on failover. So what that means is it's up and running, it's pointed to the primary, but the primary is running as well, so it's not it's not going to do anything. So all the although this one looks like it's configured, uh, these flows actually aren't running. It's it's not duplicating any data. It's simply not sending anything. So if I go here, I'm still seeing the output. So now what I'm going to do that I'm in this mode is I'm going to go to the secondary and I'm just going to kill it. And what you're going to see is the data stops. And if I jump down to here, you'll see now it's pinging every 10 seconds. So, so the 10 second interval just expired. That ping failed. And now it says running in redundant active mode. So now the secondary server has turned on. Uh, because it hasn't gotten a response and it started up the flow, right? So now we can see the data is flowing again because the secondary server uh, has kicked in because the primary went down. So to finish off this demo, the last thing I'm going to do is jump back to the primary and turn it back on. So I'm going to launch it again. And we'll see if we monitor the logs again. You know, this is the secondary, it's running. Now every 10 seconds, it's going to do a ping. And then the first ping that's successful, it's going to go back into inactive mode. So we'll just give it a second here as this fires up. You can see running in redundant standby mode, no flows are running. So it turned back off because the primary came on. 
And once again, if we jump back over to here, we'll see the data is now flowing from the primary. So that's, you know, that's a quick video on application redundancy and how to set it up. Uh, the setting is basically go into the secondary server, wherever that is, uh, open up that, uh, the settings.json file. If I can find it, there we go. And change, change these settings to point to your primary. And then you have essentially application redundancy uh, enabled. So hopefully that's helpful. A uh, really cool feature, you know, introduce or uh, make your data delivery more, more reliable uh, in the factory when needed. Uh, so hope you enjoy and stay tuned for more videos.